I'm Ian Gregory. I'm Melanie Barrios. And I'm Damian Archibald. And here's what's been going on at the Hills. If you are looking for a way to earn a health or speech credit, then register credit by exam crash <laughs> with your counselor. Crash teaches students who need to take health and speech for graduation. The fundamentals of the subject area before taking a credit <laughs> by exam test. Classes meet today, June 4th through 6th and June 10th through 11th at Arlington Heights High School. Sessions are three hours in length. Students must attend all five days of class. A PSAT prep session will be held this summer, June 10th through 20th, to help you achieve a higher score on the test. This may lead to many scholarship opportunities. The sessions will be held at Arlington Heights and the cost is $75. Next week is ACT testing day for the whole junior class. This will take place during periods 1 through 5 downstairs, so be prepared for this day. Attention juniors and seniors, prom tickets will be available for purchase April 2nd and April 4th after school in room 225. At this time, you will also be able to reserve your table. Remember, you may only reserve seats at a table for people who have paid. If you purchase your ticket online, present your receipt at the door and you'll have first choice of table reservations. Table arrangements and numbers are posted outside of room 225 as well as directions for purchasing your ticket online. Congratulations to the boys varsity soccer team for making the playoffs again this year. The game will be held today at Springtown High School at 5.30. Good luck guys! The Cougar Band will be adding a beginning band class next year for anyone that would like to join. If interested, be sure to get with your counselor or see Ms. Hines for more information. This Saturday, March 23rd, the Western Hills Cougar Winter Guard competed at the Regional AA Championships at the Colony High School and came away with first place and the highest mark score the entire day. Here's a piece of their performance. The GSA is meeting in Mrs. Dawes room, 103, Wednesday during lunch. We will be having pizza this week and discussing upcoming events we want to participate in, including the National Day of Silence. If you wish to participate, you need to be in attendance. Remember, Wednesday during lunch. The Cougars dropped a heartbreaker to Diamond Hill Tuesday night 1-0. It was an exciting game well played on both sides. All is not lost as the Cougars fall 2-2-1 two, two, two and one in district play with the chance at revenge Friday night on the road at Diamond Hill. Your Lady Cougars are now 5-0 in district play after defeating Diamond Hill Jarvis 5-4 in seven innings. They played a close game all the way through and came back aggressive in the bottom of the seventh. Lexi Zabala scored the game-winning RBI when Imani Freeman scored on an error. Grace Lindemood pitched another great game, striking out nine batters with no walks. District play continues Friday at Diamond Hill Jarvis. Congratulations to Nate Caballero at the state powerlifting competition where he placed seventh out of 18 lifters. He had a 15-20 total. 610 squat, 360 bench, and 550 deadlift. Here are the track results at the Joshua L track meet this past weekend. For the girls, Tyra Givens placed second in the 100 meter, 100 meter hurdles. Jalissa Spells placed fourth in the 200 meter, 200 meter. For the boys, JV Antonia Pascal placed third in triple jump. And for the varsity boys, JV on Washington, fifth place long jump. The team of Lawrence Bridges, Antoine Funches, Keyshawn Davis and Kadare's car took sixth place uh, in the 4x100 meter relay. Well, well Cougars, Cougars, that's all we have for you today. today. I'm Ian Gregory. I'm Melanie Barrios. And I'm Damian Archibald. And we, we want to wish you a good day, day with some great, great news. news.